Aloha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I'll tell you how I'm doing. Freaking fantastic, man. Top clutch that we've wanted to hatch out here. The, the clutch that got me into breeding ball pythons in the first place. The Clown Pied Project. And I altered it from my original plan. And uh, I'm not going to talk too long, I promise. We're just going to look at the snakes. But first, I just want to say I had, when I first decided I wanted to breed ball pythons, I decided I wanted to breed, try and produce banana clown pythons. Now that changed along the path, which is something that is, you should be open to. It means your plan's potentially Look, changing a little bit. this is metal. What? This is metal. Yes, this is metal. You're metal. No, I'm not. You're made out of rubber. You're made out of rubber. Because I'm squishy, see? She is actually pretty metal. I don't know if you guys have been following on Instagram, but you saw some of the videos of her feeding some snakes recently. She's she's one of the more pink metal. Snakes. Yeah, she's a metal metal snake princess, huh? Metal pink snake princess. <laughs> Let's just look at the parents. Of course, the queen, clown pied female, the one that kind of started it all for us. Uh, Boy, I like her white scales. Yeah, you like the white scales, huh? That's a real cool thing. A lot of people like that about pieds. The queen, clown pied, got her from. Colette Sutherland over at TSK, the first reptile show I ever went to. Pomona Reptile Super Show back in, I think it was 2015. And I told a big snake. All right, so that's all mom. By myself. All by yourself. There's, there's mom. Let's check out that. All right, here we got suitor number one. That's his name. This is an Enchi Clown 100% Het Pied. Now, the great thing about a Pied Clown pairing. If, even if it was just a normal that I put to the to the queen, she's gonna produce at least 100% double head clown pieds. Now with the now am I gonna wait hold a second? It? Wait a second, what? Wait a second, what? Everything in the clutch should have been clown. I just had a realization. Now this wasn't the only guy that was paired to the queen. The other animal that I paired with the queen was... I just love that I'm always having these realizations. Actually, I don't love that I'm having these realizations on camera. But she was paired with him at one point, and I'm just now putting together the fact that... Daddy, could I hold that one now? Yes, you can. <laughs> one snake at a time, though. Although he's deep in the shed, this is a pied, 100% het clown. Because Coral glow pied. You're great at holding, no, T. Hey, T, can you hold on while I talk about this, please? Just one sec. My original plan for the project was, again, to be coral glow clown pieds or banana clown pieds. And I realized I really liked the way the Enchi and Pied worked together. And so I thought I'd try to do Enchi clown pieds. So the queen was paired with two males. And I'm just now realizing that it's actually a dual sire clutch. Because if they were all Enchi clown, Mr. Suter number one over here's babies, they would all be clown. Daddy. But we don't have all clowns. It's okay, T. It's not a problem, okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> it's the ecosystem. We have a dual side clutch, and I am just... I don't know what to say. What threw me off, I think, is there were no coral glows in the clutch. And I was like, okay, no coral glows. So then the Enchi is obviously the, the dad. But again, if the Enchi clown was the dad to the pied clown there, all of the animals would be clown. But we've got some that are visual pied, we've got some that are visual clown. Now again, the great thing about doing a pairing with the queen there is that again, everything is 100% double het clown pied at the very least. No pos hets in this clutch whatsoever. Not happening. Okay, there's baby number one. This is, and these haven't shed out yet. I'm just too excited and I had to show them. So obviously a wild type, 100% double heck clown pied. And you can see the little tracks on there as that pied coming through and then clown makes him look extra beautiful. You wanna hold this snakey tea? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she clown pied. <laughs> this is. I told you that was an empty clown pied. Well, the thing is, it's actually not. So this is a pied. See, now if, again, it doesn't matter if the coral glow was the, it doesn't matter if the coral glow 100% hit clown or the anchi clown 100% hit pied were the father. It doesn't matter. Um, 
Queen Tiger. This was obviously fired by the Coral Glow because if it was the Enchi Clown. I got this from the Nail store. It's like weird. <laughs> I see, T. Can I talk about this snake real quick? Okay. Thanks. If the Enchi Clown was the father of this and it had pied, it would be a clown pied. So it was definitely the Coral Glow pied, 100% het clown, because it came out pied and not clown. So this is 100% het clown piebald. Very beautiful snake, looking great, and her very beautiful nail polish that she really wants to show you guys too. <laughs> Okay, now this is the one that's throwing me for a loop a little bit because I thought this was an Enchi Pied just based on the high pattern and the, the softness kind of of the pattern. So I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on here because if it was the Enchi Clown who was the father, this would be a clown, like 100%. But it looks to me like it's an Enchi. But it, it's not a clown, for sure. So I'm a little bit confused. It, maybe maybe it's just a pied with some really high and really nice looking pattern. I mean, that's kind of what it's got to be if you if you take into the fact that the Enchi was only in the clown father. Ah, man. Anyway, still cool, still beautiful, still a pied that's 100% head clown and gorgeous. Now here we go. One of the crown crown moments of Triple B yeah. snake breeding history. I just realized that this camera right here has been on manual focus the whole time and I've been th expecting it to be auto focusing. It's just one of those things. It's all right. I'll get some nice b-roll shots later. So the thing that really sticks out to me about this beautiful clown pied is that head stamp. Very nice symmetrical looking head stamp. Gorgeous, fantastic, beautiful. And we're gonna move right along. Remember Junior bit me? Yes, I remember Junior bit you, T. But then you cleaned me off. Yes. Please. And here we have another clown pied. And this one has a fun little emoji guy there. Little man in the moon or something. Fun little face on there. Fun little stuff going on there. Clown pied. Freaking stoked, man! Clown pied, T. We made clown pies for the first time. Triple oh, B history. Yeah. <laughs> so stoked. So is freaking. Is that a she? Um, I think this is a she and I think that means I'm keeping her. And here we go. We hit the full odds on this snake that I am obviously keeping. Uh, and she clown pied as Leia's been alluding to this entire episode. Yes! <laughs> yes, the Anchi Clown Pied Tea. Yes. You can see the unmistakable um, big wide eye I stripes see the there. Whiteness on his tail, so th that means it's an Anchi Clown Pied. <laughs> I believe you, Tea. It, 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 it's an Anchi Clown Pied. There's no doubting that. Absolutely. Anchi Clown Pied. Brickin' stoked. I, I just feel we're so blessed to have hit this, I mean, you know, it's completely possible from both of these pairings that, well, we would have all gotten at least visual pies and and visual uh, clowns. Now we're going to see the next one. Hmm? 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 I'm so confused right now. Me too. How would we get one that is not pied or clown? But that's an uh, empty clown pied. Okay, follow me here, guys. If we paired a Coral Glow pied, 100% head clown, to a clown pied, you're gonna get all pieds and 100% head clown and some, you know, clown pieds. If you pair the Enchi clown 100% head pied to a clown mm -hmm. pied, you're gonna get all clowns that are 100% pied and. How did we get. A normal. How did that happen? 
She's only been with those two males. I've not paired her, paired her with any other snakes. I'm so confused right now. Anyway, <laughs> the great thing is she is a clown pied, so we don't have to worry about anything being paused head. That's the saving grace of whatever the mystery, mysteriousness is going on with this clutch. Um, wow. Thank you, T, for showing these snakes off of me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Music Monday earlier this week. Had a lot of fun doing that one. And this coming Music Monday, we're going to be doing a hip-hop original. Let's go original. Hope you're ready for it. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thank you for joining us on our weird, wacky journey of snake breeding. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha. You say bye? Bye. Which one is that? The anti-clown pie. <laughs> the anti-clown pies? Yeah. Oh, you know so much already, T.